eight. Yep. Let's see what happened on the road. How many hours have we already driven? We already drove like 12. And how many hours have we got to go? Another 12. Coming into Mexico and exiting Mexico at any of the borders, you do not ever want to have any reason to give them to stop you. Like in the United States, drive five over, you're still good. Don't ever drive over the speed limit here on the border area, right honey? Yes, because the police are gonna catch you and get some money. Yeah. Lots of money sometimes. Last last time you wanna tell them the story any? Yeah, last time we got back experience. Well, it's up to us and nothing in Laredo. They want 8,000 pesos. Yeah. Well, then I don't have it. Well, I'm gonna give it like, uh, like 3,000 pesos and let us go. Yeah. And you, you know, many people say, oh, you shouldn't be giving them what they're asking. Until you're in that situation at that moment, and you're walking in those shoes of that person or us that it's having to be there. And, you know, you do what you have to do at that moment, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. You have family to go home to, but it's still a beautiful country and we will still keep coming. As long as God keeps opening the door, right, honey? Yes. Not really. And do not ever come through Mexico in the month of December and expect to come through quickly if you need to stop and get visas and permits. No joking, no exaggeration. Um, one year, how many years ago was it? Mm, it was probably about, about eight. eight years ago. Yeah. Um, it took us three hours just to cross the bridge out of the United States into Mexico, right, honey? Mm -hmm. And then Francisco stayed with the truck and all of our belongings and I went and got in line for the visas and I stood in line for 11 hours, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mistake of having on a pair of Converse tennis shoes that day with no arch support because I stood in line so long that I ended up straining the plantar in the bottom of my foot and had troubles walking for months after that. We never travel Mexico anymore in the evenings at nighttime, just for safety precautions and everything. Um, when the kids were little, we used to do it all the time, right, didn't we? But yeah. no longer, it's not the same Mexico that it was as far as um, safety reasons. So we always only travel during the day. Fortunately um, for us, once we cross on the border, we can make it to our des destination of where we are going and one day's drive before it gets too late. The mountains of Guahuila. Central de Dulces, that's a huge candy store. And strip the sweater off. <laughs> How many hours are we in now? We are like four hours in Mexico. Three, four, hours, three or four hours, hours into Mexico. And about the other, the other nine more on the way there. Yep. We are coming into Monclova. Beautiful mountains of San Luis Potosí. Yes, it is. So we have like three hours and a half to go there. I mean, to go so far. Right. It's a nice day. It's hot day today. Like 80, like 80 degrees in here. Yeah. Now, three days ago it was cold. It's nice. <laughs> yes, it was. It's nice, me. Yeah, they're all the way around us as the sun is going down. So we 
we made a pit stop here to go to the bathroom at the Parador Matahuala. If you are traveling down this 57, right? Yeah, it's 57. 57 highway. This yeah. is where you want to stop. It's one of the cleanest, the nicest. They have a nice little restaurant in here where you can order food. The bathrooms are free. You just pay for the toilet paper, but we always have our trusty toilet paper anyways. So if you have your own toilet paper, you do not have to pay for the bathroom. We have a nice little place where you can buy food. We've had the food before. It's really good. They have gasoline going towards the States and away from the States. What just happened, honey? <laughs> we almost had a very bad thing just happen after a very smooth drive so far. Francisco, what? Almost forgot his belt in the bathroom. But thank God he did not. It's safe. We're good. And once again, Parador Matacuala if you want to stop and go to the bathroom. We got some fruit and at one of the stops and we are headed off again. When our kids were little, we always had to stop when we would travel to get out and run around, stress our legs and all that. But as we have grown older, <laughs> this is our, our, our lunch, so our lunch meals, meals, breakfast. Well, this has been our breakfast, our lunch and dinner. <laughs> This is our road food. Yeah. Um, number one, it saves money. Number two, it gets us there a lot quicker so we can get this whole entire track done in one day without it being too late and getting too dangerous at night. And number three, it makes us really look forward to the gorditas and the tacos tomorrow, right, Eddie? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what did we just cross into, honey? We crossed right. We are in the state of Guanajuato. Guanajuato. Where, where I grew up, born. This is where you were born, right? Yeah. Yeah. I born in Guanajuato. Guanajuato, Mexico. Ninety-three miles. Ninety-three miles. It's been a really good trip. No issues. Beautiful sunset in Guanajuato, Mexico. We have arrived. Finally, people, we arrived to Juventino Rosas. Vera Juventino Rosas. Headed to get us our first meal back in Mexico. How hungry are you, honey? Yeah, very hungry. <laughs> Long drive today. Long drive and sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and snack. Now, tacos and gorditas. Here we go. New little restaurant in town. Is it good? Mm hmm. Pretty good. <laughs> Long awaited, right? Gorditas de Guanajuato. We are home. 